The Galaxija, pronounced Galaxija Serbo-Croatian, Galaxija, meaning Galaxy, was a build-it-yourself computer designed by Verja Antonic. It was featured in the special edition Rakunari U Vasoj Kuchi Computers in Your Home, written by Dejan Ristanovic of a popular eponymous science magazine, published late December 1983 in Belgrade, Yugoslavia. Kits were available but not required as it could be built entirely out of standard off-the-shelf parts. It was later also available in complete form. History In the early 80s, various laws in Yugoslavia prevented importing computers into the country. At the same time, even the cheapest computers available in the West were nearing average monthly salaries. This meant that regardless of demand for home computers, only a relative minority of people owned one, mostly a ZX Spectrum or a Commodore 64. According to his own words, sometime in 1983, Verja Antonic, while vacationing in Hotel Tutor in Razan, was reading the application handbook for the RCA CDP-1802 CPU and stumbled upon CPU-assisted video generation. Since the CDP-1802 was very primitive, he decided that a Zilog Z80 processor could perform the task as well. Before he returned home to Belgrade, he already had the conceptual diagrams of a computer that used software to generate a video picture. Although using software as opposed to hardware would significantly reduce his design's performance, it also simplified the hardware and reduced its cost. His next step was to find a magazine to publish the diagrams in. The obvious choice was Sam magazine published in Zagreb, but due to prior bad experiences he decided to publish elsewhere. The popular science magazine Galaxydra appeared incompatible but he heard that they were working on a special issue dedicated to computers. He proposed publishing entire do-it-yourself diagrams, instructions, etc. to the author of the issue, Dejan Ristanovic. Everything made its way into the special issue called Rakonari U Vasoj Kuchi Computers in Your Home. It was released late December 1983, although it was dated January 1984. They tried to guess the number of Galaxyhus that would be built by readers. Their estimates ranged from a hundred to a thousand a number that sounded so optimistic it provoked laughter. The actual number built by known, do-it-yourselfers, was around 8,000. This number may in reality be greater if people who did not purchase any kits including PCB and ROMs are accounted for. Components were provided by various manufacturers and suppliers. MIPRO and Electronica from Buja, together with Institute za Elektroniku i Vakuumsku Teniku N. Institute for Electronics and Vacuum Technology delivered PCBs, keyboards and masks. Microtechnica from Graz sent integrated circuits. Verja Antonic personally programmed all EPROMs. Galaxija collected requisition forms and organized deliveries later. Institute for School Books and Teaching Aids, together with Electronica Inzengering, started mass commercial production of Galaxija computers, mainly to be delivered to schools. <laughs> Technical specifications CPU, Zilog Z80A 3.072 MHz ROM, A, or, 1, 4 KB contains bootstrap, core control and Galaxyja basic interpreter code ROM, B, or, 2, 4 KB optional, also 2732 EPROM additional Galaxyja basic commands, assembler, machine code monitor, etc. Character ROM 2 kilobytes 2716 EPROM contains character definitions. Characters are 8 by 13 pixels. The block graphics were vertically divided in a 4, 5 to 4 scheme and horizontally in a 4 to 4 scheme. RAM 2 to 6 kilobytes of 6116 static RAM in base model, expandable to 54 kilobytes. Text mode 32 by 16 characters, monochrome Pseudographics, 2 by 3 dot matrix combinations in graphic character subset 64 by 48 dots total. More was done using tricks, see video generation. Sound, none according to specifications, but tape interface was occasionally used as audio output port, like the ear 
Port on ZX Spectrum can be used both as audio and cassette port. See cassette port for details. Storage media, cassette tape, recording at 280-bit, S rate. I.O. ports, 44-pin edge connector with Z80 bus, tape, DIN connector, monochrome video out, PAL timings, DIN connector, and UHF TV out, RCA connector. Topic: <laughs> Basic ROMs. Galaxy Basic is a basic interpreter originally partly based on code taken from TRS-80 Level 1 Basic, which the creator believed to have been a Microsoft Basic. However, after extensive modifications to include video generation code as the CPU was a major participant to reduce the cost of hardware and improve the programming language, what remained from the original is said to be mainly flow control and floating point code. It was fully contained in 4 KB ROM. A or 1. Additional ROM B or 2 provided more Galaxy J basic commands, assembler, monitor, etc. Topic <laughs> ROM A The chip labeled as A by the creator of Galaxy J, Verya Antonic was commonly referred to as ROM 1 or just ROM ROM A contained bootstrap code of Galaxy J, its control code, rudimentary operating system, video generation code. As Galaxy J did not have advanced video subsystem, its Z80 CPU was responsible even for generating video signal and Galaxy J Basic. Fitting all this functionality in 4 kilobytes of 2732 EPROM required a lot of effort and some sacrifices. For example, some message text areas were also used actual code e.g. ready message and the number of error messages was reduced to only 3. What? How? And sorry. Topic <laughs> ROM B ROM B a the Galaxy J is a 2732 EPROM chip that contains extensions to the original Galaxy J Basic available in Base ROM A. It was labeled as B by the creator of the Galaxy J, Verya Antonic, but was commonly referred to as ROM 2. ROM B contained added Galaxy J Basic commands and functions, mostly trigonometric, as well as a Z80 assembler and a machine code monitor. This ROM was not required and was an optional upgrade. Although planned on the mainboard, the content of ROM B was not automatically initialized during booting. Instead, users had to execute a Galaxy J Basic command to run a machine code program from ROM B before they can gain additional features. This also meant that even Galaxy Has with ROM B plugged in can behave entirely as base models. Topic. Character ROM Character ROM of home computer Galaxy J is a 2716 EPROM chip that contains graphical definitions of Galaxy's character set. It had no special name and was labeled 2716 after the type of 2 KB EPROM needed. Galaxy J had a slightly modified localized ASCII character set. There were no lowercase characters. Codes 91 to 94 represented Serbian language characters C, C, Z, and S, respectively. Letter D was not present in original version and was commonly replaced with DJ. It contained 64 pseudo graphics characters, having different combinations of dots in 2 by 3 matrix. Character codes 64 and 39 are used for two halves of the logo of Electronica Inzenjuring Company they can be seen in Ready prompt each character was represented as 8 by 13 matrix of pixels. In this ROM, 8 pixel rows of each character are represented as 8 bits of 1 byte. Topic. Cassette Port Galaxy J used cassette tape as secondary storage. It featured a 5-pin DIN connector used to connect the computer to a cassette tape recorder. 
Tape interface circuitry was rudimentary, other than few elements controlling the levels it was essentially one bit digital equivalent to the one in the ZX spectrum. The input signal was routed to the integrated circuit otherwise responsible for keyboard, so the CPU would see the input signal as a series of very fast key presses of varying lengths and gaps between them. It is normally stated that original Galaxyger does not have any dedicated separate audio ports and most of the programs were written as silent. It was, however, possible to utilize the cassette tape port as an audio output as well like it is done in ZX Spectrum its ear connector. The only technical difference between ZX Spectrum and Galaxyger in regards to existence of audio is that ZX Spectrum has a built-in beeper, while Galaxy's plans do not include any kind of a speaker. Topic. Design To simplify, do it yourself, building and reduce cost, the printed circuit board was designed as single layer one -side board. This resulted in a relatively complicated design requiring many components side connections to be made using wires. Galaxia's case was not pre built. Instead, the guide suggested it to be built out of the printed circuit board material such as Pertinax also used for the mainboard. Thus, the top, sides and reinforcements were soldered together to form the lid. Acrylic glass was recommended for the underside. The guide included instructions on cleaning, painting and even decorating the assembled case. The name, G-A-L-A-K-S-I-J-A and decorative border were to be added using letterset transfer letter sheets after the first white coat of paint but before the second coat of final color. After the paint dried, transferred decorations were supposed to be scratched off, exposing underlying white paint. The keyboard is laid out such that keys have their own memory mapped addresses that, in most cases, follow the same order as ASCII code of the letter on the key. This saved the ROM space by reducing lookup tables but significantly increased the complexity of single-layer keyboard PCB such that it alone required 35 jumpers. Gallery See also Galaxija Basic – Details about Galaxia's basic programming language Galaxija Plus – Improved version of Galaxija, announced in June, July 1984 sixth issue of Rakunari magazine in English, computers, renamed from Rakunari U Vasoj Kuchi Verja Antonic – The creator of Galaxija Dejan Ristanovic – well-known Serbian writer and computer publicist who authored much of the special issue magazine featuring Galaxija Z80 Galaxia's CPU ZX80 Sinclair ZX80 which predates the Galaxija by four years and has a remarkably similar system design including using the Z80A to drive the video output